How are you dealing with the heat? You know, I live in Alabama <laughs> right now. I don't know if this is the typical for you guys, but this is very pleasant with this breeze. Oh, no. The breeze. It's, yeah, it's... no, the breeze is not typical. <laughs> oh, okay. I do. I have okay, one. So you, bought it, you bought it bare root? Or you bought it without any flowers? Yeah, and I don't know. I was trying to see. Okay, so. Because I grew one of these shoot. by myself. Like, one of, whatever this is, it right. grew, and now it's like even for a root, but. No okay, blue. so this is this is where you're going to look for it. You're going to have your catlea, and then all of a sudden you're going to see a little green, like a little green nub or a little. This is dried up. But it's going to be really little, it's going to be green, it's going to start growing. And it's, it's going to, the catlea is going to be in there, like if it was pregnant. It's going to be inside. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be inside here, and then it's going to, it's going to get full. If you touch that, you're going to see it's going to be full. And then it's going to eventually come out, spout, and then that's your. That's your Calea. That's your Calea. I call them pregnant when I have them, you know, when they're shoes. And these can go outside? Because I have my, this is the only orchid that I also experiment with putting in a clay pot. And so um, my next thing is trying to put, you know what, I want to put one outside, but everybody that's being, being testing and trying to push it and putting it in the outside, they dealing with the bugs and I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. Oh, it's a plan. It's going to attract bugs. There's pesticides. So, okay. Well, you can keep them in so indoors by a window. Yeah. And they'll do fine. They just fertilize and... and but wait. one day I am going to try it and I'm going to try it with the cat Leah that I have. So, you know, Over here, so. Oh, okay. Well, in the real world, we don't know what. In the, in the, in the, yeah. Girl, we dealing with climate change, so. Leave them inside by a window. Don't even deal with putting them out there. Okay. But I think that they'll acclimate better. Yeah. Or outside yeah. with indirect light too. Yeah. Yeah, like by yeah, any window. And from porch. Well, what about when they bloom? Once oh. they bloom, can you still leave them where they are? I think so. Yeah. And you put them. You put them around your house. Do you keep fertilizing? Never fertilize them. Ever. Okay. 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 Ever, See, that's ever. where I was messing up. Yeah, but some people do. I don't. I don't like it. Well, I'm. It feels like the blooms don't last as long, and I just. I don't. It don't. But I'm thinking in my mind that I'm just killing it, and it doesn't like it. So that's why I'm really appreciating <laughs> right now. I'm giving my orchids boundaries, and they are doing good even when I think they're about to die. Some, I was like, would you hurry up and die? Because I'm going to Redmond and I'm going to get me some healthy orchids. <laughs> and now all of a sudden they want to start living. So. These are going to be the best prices on Catalea's if you're into Catalea's. No, and I have to tell you, I mean, I don't work here. I, don't, I come and say bother him and say hi every time he comes to Miami. But he has the healthiest I'm and the you. best. I'm and if you've seen my videos, you would know that when he sends me the boxes, which I'm expect hopefully getting one in July. Yeah. He sends me awesome stuff, so he's his, he's amazing. I love him. So, so let me ask you this, because I do want to get to, because that's the incredible price that you see. Like Bows? Yes. Yeah. Well, once I get them, if I'm not really true, can I walk around with them in the sun? And yeah, can you can. Be? Just be careful that you don't hit it with a spike or leave them here until you're ready to leave. He'll hold them for you. Oh, so I can That's what I'm here. I'm, yeah, I'm, oh. picking, I'm doing all my rounds. Okay. Oh, okay. Because tomorrow's when I come with my wagon. Okay. <laughs> Me too. Tomorrow's Me. when I'm gonna drag my wagon around. Me just too, but I'll just I'll... just throw whatever you don't want in here. <laughs> you recording? Uh -huh. Oh, well, that's good. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yes, I just love what you oh, inspire. What inspires you to 
because I'm doing this and I'm doing it and I can say if nobody else would say but we're doing these videos and making sure that it's set apart from just you just throwing them on there what inspires you to do that because it's hard work it's hard work it's everything inspires me I love the fact that I wake up to a new spike you know on a different tree I love the fact that it's nature that I'm able to bloom it and I'm able to grow. it just makes me and you happy Mother's what? Day. Thank you. Happy Mother's Thank you Day. so much. Happy and Mother's just the fact Day. that this Orchid Society and the Orchid Lovers are just such a united group. You know, I love that. I, I mean, too. I've met so many people this weekend. It's, 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 it's great. I saw the first, I already seen the first video. Oh. I know, and then <laughs> cool. you're coming in and, I mean, oh my God, you're just really phenomenal because oh, I can oh, say it's hard work. Everyone that messaged you, you took time to I do. speak back I to do. them. I and do. that's. That's I incredible. Important, You're you know? just a great person. Oh, and so I mean, sweet. that really inspires me. But what keeps you going oh, when you goodness. have rough days? Because you're so consistent and so faithful at it as well. And just being a human being on those, on those rainy days. You was here last year when it was raining. Yeah. Why? Good boy. Because I love it. I don't know. I came. I came, I enjoy myself, we have fun, you know, it's an escape, it's it's just awesome. Well, let me ask you this, what got you into growing and was orchids your, the first plant that you started growing? Well, orchids, a phalaenopsis was the first one I started growing. I attached it on my palm. Fail, pal, Sandy, <laughs> check into it. So, I mean, how long, how long ago was that? Uh, 2014, so about five years. Was it Mother's Day? <laughs> It was, you know, it was Mother's Day. I got my first, you know. I, I mean, I, I would get them before, but I never knew that, you know, I can put this on my palm and actually regrow right. it. Right, you know? and that's so the that's fear that most me. of us have, that if we touch it, we'll kill it. Um, <laughs> so before you picked up your Phalaenopsis orchid, no previous green thumb? No, no. I wasn't even into flowers as much. I was into roses. She's telling me roses. Yes, I tried to grow a, ro a rose garden. <laughs> when was failed. the day you got into putting them on your tree? Oh, February of 2014, just about. So, just about. When you live in Florida, they grow for you. Yeah. All you got to do is just buy them, and they just. Oh yeah. Just, she just put it on her tree. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't no secret mix mixler. It was nothing special. She just put it on her tree. So with all of that Fab Pals, I thank you so much, um, oh, Orchid so Diva, Miss Blanca, Fab Pal Blanca. I want all of you guys to just look at what's going on today and don't sit inside your house watering your plants. Go outside and love on some different people. Until next time. Yeah, I'm just... But I want to, you know, this is my first time, so I really want to appreciate it for myself as well. Like, this is incredible. And you already made your rounds to all the booths? They have amazing things. Well, like I said, I want to stay focused because I want to have money when I go back home. Yeah. We going to Vegas um, in July, and I don't want to go broke. So... Uh, <laughs> So I wanna, I know I came for the Phalaenopsis. I know I don't wanna try any kind of new creatures like uh, Miltoniopsis. I did all that research. And that thing, and I'm doing the research, and that thing is still dying. And I'm like so mad because I paid $50 for it. Wow, yeah, I, and I think they're 28. I think those are 28. I got two. I still don't have nothing to deal with. Them <laughs> because I, Phalaenopsis. <laughs> Pen pals, they bring everybody together. Y'all fighting over all these different orchids, all these different medias, different pots. Focus on what brings us together, honey. The orchid. Can the orchid be the orchid? Okay. And with me, that's really why I do it too, because in Alabama, we don't get to experience all of these different cultures and all of these people from different walks and different languages. I mean, it's kind of like just black and white where I live. So all of this really relates to me, the beauty and majesty and all of the different orchids. All of these right. orchids are just as beautiful, but all of them have their own unique thing to offer this world. And I think that was a great outlet for me to be able to have just a positivity with different human beings with no negativity, no judgment. Right. Yeah. I always say no judgment zone.